Hello guys. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for FRM and CFA exams. We have with us one of our students who has been able to clear FRM level one in his first attempt in May 2023. Okay, his name is Nipun. Nipun has been able to clear the exam in the first year of college. So he's going to talk about his journey of preparing for the exam. What are the challenges that he faced? Okay, so Nipun, first of all, Thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us. If you can give a brief to the uh, audience with respect to uh, what were you doing when you started out with the preparation for FRM level one. Hello, so thank you first of all for having me. And I would like to thank you once again, sir, for helping me throughout my journey. So hi, my name is Nipun Kemka. So, I am a first year student and I'm currently pursuing BCom honors from St. Xavier's College, Kolkata. So it was the time, sir, when I, when my 12th exam just got over. And so at that time mm -hmm. I came across this course and I did a lot of particular research on this particular course. So okay. then I came across you. So it was around mid of October or end of October when I uh, took video lectures from you like live online video lectures mm -hmm. from you and then my preparation journey began okay and were you afraid at the start that uh because you've just completed 12th you have not even completed graduation no no background no job experience so was there any fear in your mind at the start Kya tha? no 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 sir i was very excited to be particular like okay okay yeah because that course actually had intrigued me like i i had something in me like okay it is interesting okay. let's do this so that was within me so that actually drove me to pursue this thing okay so when you started uh from the month of october end and you were also attending the lectures on weekends with us yeah, yeah. so what were you doing on weekday what was the flow and what was the approach that you were following Okay, so on weekdays, sir, I dedicated around two to three hours daily and I was watching your recorded lectures. Then simultaneously, I was reading the Kaplan textbooks like okay. very thoroughly. And on the weekends, sir, I would attend the live classes. And mm -hmm. if possible, on the weekends only, I saw that chapter of the question bank. That. Okay, the, okay. So you started the solving around fifteen to twenty questions. Yes, the yes. easy question, the first level of easy questions for each chapter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, what was this uh, specific uh, study plan that you were following? Was it the same order that I was going, or uh, you were deviating also in between? No, no. The study plan which you gave us like that uh, Kaplan textbooks, your video lectures and your question bank and nothing else. Nothing else. Okay. Okay. But the order of preparation was also the same in the same way I was going and doing the lecture. Is it correct? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. And uh, were there any college exams in between? What are the major challenge that you faced when you're preparing? Yes, yes, sir. So I remember there were around two to three college exams. So at that time, sir, I, it yeah. was very hectic for me. And I remember that I wanted to study for that FRM in between the, those exams. But unfortunately, I had no time to spare for this. So eventually I had okay. to leave aside my books for those days till my exams got over. And then eventually mm -hmm. I came back much stronger, like much more motivated to have, like I have to dedicate more time, more energy wow. so that I could so that I could catch up with this. Yeah. Okay. And do you, do you have any stats background or any financial market background? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Nothing. Okay. The reason I asked you this question, because a lot of people, a lot of uh, candidates who wish to go for the exam, they feel because I do not have a stat background. I do not have not done engineering. Uh, so I might not be able to clear the exam and I might not be able to get good quartiles, especially in that quant book. And because you have got second quartile in that book. So that is the reason I asked you this. Now, uh, when was the time that you completed your one full reading of the content? Mm. Sir, it was around uh, mid of March 
yes it was around mid of march when i completed mm-hmm. my first reading so i completed my first reading and simultaneously i completed my chapter wise solving of the question bank and then okay. i started my revision and by the time you reached uh, around 31st of uh, march what yeah. how much revision you had completed i think sir i had done only once yeah i revised only once okay just Till to that. summarize by by the end of uh, 31st of march you had completed full reading of the content full solving of the chapter wise questions when i'm saying chapter wise yeah. that means the quiz one part the difficult slightly yes, d- yes. difficult questions and also you had done one revision by the end of march okay and at that point in time were you confident on the content yes sir yes sir i was very comfortable with all the topics and all the book books like i had no fear in me okay and from uh, in the month of april by any chance was there any college exams in between no sir there were no college exams but i remember okay. one uh, tragic incident which happened sir actually it was around 12 to 15 days before my exams before my exam that particular date 10th of may i remember okay. so suddenly i got a severe fever and in between oh, that okay. i did not study for around 3 to 4 days i was not able to study only i was not able to give the mock exam or just look at the textbook only so that okay. actually demotivated me a lot at that time okay okay and so basically from 1st of april what were you doing and uh, when did you so i am assuming that you were revising and doing sectional test and all so what were you doing in that month of april now yes. okay so sir i was revising the content again and again like i was reading the swaja textbooks again and again and wherever i would find it something difficult i would go back to the video lectures revise that thing and come again so in that time i was uh, giving the sectional quiz which you had in our package and i also went for like book wise question bank there was some book wise question bank so i went for that also then i attended your uh, important quiz sessions which we were having and uh, then okay. i was simultaneously giving mock exams as well so i remember that uh, i had given around uh, four to five mock exams and uh, mm-hmm. in that sir the f- i remember the very first mock which i gave so i had expected that i would score around 70 75 and yeah <laughs> i then i prepared so nicely but uh, to my utter disappointment sir i got only 58 so Okay. and in the subsequent mocks i decided that i would not focus on the score i would focus on the questions only wherever wherever i'm getting wrong and uh, okay. what are the what are the basic like concepts they are asking on which topics so i was like very focused on that thing only and so how I, many mocks you had given around 4 to 5 sir around so four. all all of our mocks matlab fitrajin mocks plus uh, garb sample that, paper that, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like i have solved around 3 to 3 i would say 3 or uh, intelligence uh, mocks and two of that gart sample paper okay okay and on average what was the score that you were getting in those mocks uh, around 55 to 60 sir i could okay. not able to score above 60 okay now when you went to that uh, on the day of the exam like you said you were slightly demotivated few days back so yeah, what yeah. happened when you started solving on the day the first one hour of the exam what happened so sir eventually i would lit- go a little back so the one okay. day before the exam i was preparing myself mentally like i would be very patient i would be very calm like i you know <laughs> give each questions a good time and then so the second i sat on my desk i got anxious and i don't know but i felt blank like i don't know anything so because it was my first time i was giving these type of exams so right. i got panic i got panic and the situation got horrible like in the first one hour of the exam i remember i got only two to three questions correct and out of 20 or 25 questions so i was wow. like totally <laughs> like i was totally off the track so but eventually i got comfortable with the questions as time passed and then i thought only one thing like 
just give my best if i am going to clear this exam it is fine if i am not going to clear this exam it is fine so i had that mindset okay. and okay yeah and after the exam after the exam got over i was like sure that i am not going to clear this exam because <laughs> i was like totally sure i am not going to clear this but exam. but this is this is very normal with everybody who gives fr because of the theory questions that they ask so you are not 100% sure what is going to be the answer most of the time you yeah. get confused into option when you choose okay whichever i feel is best and i will go go ahead with that option so it is very difficult to actually judge whether you have cleared or not so that is very normal and uh, but uh, your story was very interesting so uh, okay how many theory and how many calculation questions were there in your exam yeah so i guess around 30 practical questions were there 30 practical questions and around 10 to 15 okay. questions were like a mixture of both practical and theory like i have to both use my mind as well as my calculator i would say and okay. the rest of the questions were like plain vanilla theory questions so like how the, those the, those theory questions were very tough or what was the approach sir so some questions were like very direct and some questions were like jumble like and uh, i noticed that some questions were like very big the questions are very big and the options are also very big like you have to read the questions yes. again and again to actually i was starting the question from the beginning till the end i forgot what was the question only so again i have to <laughs> read the question <laughs> the questions were so big okay okay no i remember you called me after the exam and you explicitly talked about this point that uh, questions were so big questions were so big yeah, yeah. <laughs> but again I, uh, just to uh, for the audience uh, you it is not expected that you have to solve every question you have to be smart in picking up the question that will uh, decide your exam result so again uh, and uh, overall uh, calculation was tough for you or uh, theory i mean when you look at the bifurcation sir i would say it was moderate sir it was moderate If and you anything, have a proper mindset, if you mm-hmm. have a proper yes. mindset, mm-hmm. if you have a proper mindset, then I think you can sail through the exam easily. If you have a proper mindset and if you are like consistent in your preparation. And did you found anything outside Swazer coming in the exam? No. So basically, the reading that you did of Swazer two three times that yeah. helped you to choose the option effectively. in the exam right okay yeah. now so when you uh, came I out say one thing mm-hmm. yeah so uh, the questions i had seen around sir 3 to 4000 questions sir to be very precise in the whole preparation journey but i expected mm. a certain amount of toughness but the exam was a little higher than that sir. like Hmm. It was very unpredictable. Very unpredictable. All the questions. Right, right. That is very normal because what happens is because it's a competitive exam, it is very tough for anybody to check what is going to be the difficulty level. Okay, that is the first point. Second is that uh, because they're also in a lot of cases they try to jumble the question. They try to give you scenarios. Okay, so those scenarios can be made complicated as per the uh, requirement of the institute. but again uh, when you came out of the exam center what was there in your mind sir there was only one thing i called my father and i told him only one thing he see i have given the exam and i am sure i am not going to clear this exam and i am not sitting for this exam again this is for sure <laughs> i told him only one thing. okay 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 and then uh, then the results came out the quartiles what are the quartiles that you've got now sir i got 1 2 3 3 <laughs> so first of all sec- book 2 you got very good quartiles being from a non stats background and all of that because majority people feel that stats are going to be very tough and all and book 3 book 4 you you've been able to manage because manage. Uh, decent score 3 3 yes now if somebody asks you that okay uh, what would be the three tips that you can share from your experience of clearing the exam that how should you prepare for frm level 1 okay 
so the very first tip that i would give them is that you have to have a proper positive mindset like you have to leave hmm. no room for negative thoughts and you have to shape your mind in such a way that yes you are going to clear this exam this is the very first okay. tip that i would like to give okay the next i would uh, like to share is that i was very consistent with my preparation in the initial hmm. days i was not disciplined but as i attended your class sessions as i attended your more sessions you focus on only one thing to maintain consistency and discipline so at the very beginning i was like ha ah, to ho jayega ho jayega kya hai but <laughs> then when you focused on that consistency thing then i actually inculcate that habit of reading the soyer books giving the quiz and then that actually helped me a lot because it was a habit of preparing daily and the last thing which i would like to share is that you have to have interest in the books like you have to love your books that eventually will drive you further to dedicate more time effectively and efficiently mm. both to prepare for the exam right yeah wow wonderful wonderful so and overall now when the results are out uh, what has been the reaction of people around you your family your your dad and friends what has been the reaction sir actually i have set higher expectations now like my family and friends are expecting more of me now so it is actually i am <laughs> like oh my god ye maine kya kar diya <laughs> like like very wow, wow. happy and yeah because see clearing frm level 1 immediately after your 12th exam is not easy and this time there has been one more student of mine uh, who has been able to raghav was able to do it soham is also able to do it so now i see the trend that lot of young people after 12th itself they are planning for their future they don't want to waste time so that is very good and i think so the competition is going to go more in the future as we move ahead so giving exam and clearing has been a great achievement and definitely this will help you a lot in your career and i'm i'm sure uh, this interview that we have just now completed the conversation that we had the, the points that you mentioned like you panicked in the exam and you had fe- fever few days before the exam you were still able to manage so all of these positive uh, mindset uh, the the learnings that you've shared will help each and every student who's going to watch the interview okay and once again it is a great achievement and also thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us and sharing your journey